Welcome to another Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin, and tonight before I present to you my theme, I want to let you know that this is the second video I filmed with my new microphone. So I hope you notice an improvement in the uh, <laughs> clarity of my speech as well as the richness of my voice. I'm going to share with you tonight a, a video theme on hippopotamus. So I have a number of banknotes here that depict the hippopotamus. And before I go into detail on it, I want you to click that subscribe button so that you have automatic updates and uh, links in your YouTube feed towards my or to my new videos. I went online and I got a lot of my information from Wikipedia and I got my uh, banknote information from the standard catalog of world paper money. When I do a video that's on a specific banknote, I try to get more detail and include other resources such as the bank notebook and whatever other resources I can use to find information for what's on the bank notes. Here's what I found out though about um, Hippopotamus. It ranges from the silly to the sublime and I'm talking of course the song from 1953. I've got a hippopotamus for Christmas. A little girl from Oklahoma City recorded that and um, a local promoter wanted to give her her hippopotamus for Christmas, so she got her hippopotamus, which she promptly donated to the Oklahoma City Zoo. And um, while I wasn't around whenever the zoo received Matilda in the 1980s as a child, when I visited that zoo, Matilda the Hippo was the very first hippopotamus that I saw in person. Very meaningful to me. And then I also um, was impressed to learn that the hippopotamus may very well be what the behemoth of the book of Job in chapter 40, verses 15 through 24 is referring to. Hmm. The hippopotamus in popular culture. There you go. I discovered that at one point uh, they wanted to import them and release them in the bayous of Louisiana because they were expected to eat the water hyacinth and the cow bacon taste of their meat would be attractive to Americans. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't think that that ever happened. But something similar did happen in South America, and especially in the nation of Colombia, where after Pablo Escobar's death, the four hippos he kept on his grounds were left to their own devices and quickly multiplied and have now escaped the grounds and have established some populations up and down local rivers. So who knows? <laughs> South America may be uh, known once more for giant animals living in their jungles. I found out that uh, the scientific name for hippopotamus are hippopotamus amphibious, and I say are because there is two species. There is the main large size hippo, and then there is the much smaller pygmy hippo. I did discover that there were some smaller hippos that lived in like Madagascar, for example, that went extinct within the last five years, and in fact, in some remote sections of Madagascar, some locals call a strange local animal um, a name, and it reminds people who go and talk to these people of tiny hippopotamus. Who knows? Nigeria also seemed at one point to have had a population of local hippopotamus, but now most of the hippopotamus you find in Africa are all of the giant hippopotamus amphibious. Their name in Latin, hippopotamus, comes from the Greek word that actually means river horse, which is um, interesting to me. And uh, I don't know, I was pretty pleased. I enjoy animals on banknotes, and sometimes it's kind of nice to have your own zoo when you can't go and visit one. So without further ado, let's uh, look at the banknotes with hippopotamus. This is not an exclusive list, so please add to it. At your leisure. The first note I'm going to share with you is a two Emelangeni from Swaziland. And on the back of this note, you can see a pair of hippos at the water's edge with several other animals. It looks like we have some zebra and it looks like we have a giraffe and we have some cranes. These are banknotes that you will see more than one time <laughs> as they show up in some of my other videos. Now, the next video is from Uganda and it is a 10 shilling. The front has um, the facade of the bank and a lot of lathe work. Let's look at the back side of it. The back side of it has a family of elephants over here. It has some sort of beast here. And very lightly, you see a hippopotamus over here. And I believe that this is supposed to represent 
a rainbow. So you might find this on a different note eventually. It's a it's a cute little bank note, nice and wildlife. He almost looks like a postcard. The next note I'm going to share with you is also of Uganda, but from an entirely different family of notes. You can see the lathe work and um, everything that was on the front of this note is radically different. Instead of being minor in the corner, the arms of the nation are more prominent in an upper corner. And for some reason, maybe somebody else can... Uh, we have the arms of the nation and then we have the arms of the bank. I was wondering, why are there two different arms on here? <laughs> and here on the back, we have another set of... Um, Wildlife scenes at the water, and strangely enough, a lot of the same animals from the previous family. You have your crane here, you have your elephant, you have that beast there, and then you have a pair of hippos in water right here. Pretty neat. But the neatest one is this next note from Liberia. This is a $500 bill, and the hippos that you see on this note are the pygmy hippos which uh, Liberia has given their name to the Latin name of the pygmy hippo. And here on the back, we have a hippo cow and a hippo calf. So see, people, um, there are terminologies that just don't apply to the same animals around the world. But here we have a cow and we have a calf, and they're ashore and they're grazing. The pygmy hippo is a lot more acclimated to life on land, although it does spend time in the water. It's not nearly as aquatic as its bigger relative is. And the final note I have to show or have to share with you is from the West African states. And the West African states is a currency union, so they can they um, issue money for use in um very different countries in name. And for example, this K right here means that this banknote is actually issued for use in Senegal. So um, we have a lot of modern features on this note. There's a champagne bubbles, there's a there's a tablet, and there's digital Africa, and there's a fertility Ashanti. Um, I would I would assume it's an Ashanti fertility god or charm, but on the back of the note we have a splendid pair of hippopotamus. And you can see over here is the issuing authority, Bank Central of the States of the Af of Africa's of Africa the West. <laughs> I'm sure it sounds better in French. But this this whole um, this family of hippopotamuses appears on all of the 500 francs issued issued by the West African states. And here's another one with the letter H, actually standing for the nation of Niger with the same design on the back. Well, there you go. It's not an exhaustive list, but it is an interesting list of some hippopotamus that appear on banknotes. I'm going to have to go give my African, or I'm sorry, my Egyptian notes uh, a second look and see if any appear in any of the um, ruins, the hieroglyphs, or the art panels that you see depicted on the ancient Egyptian side of their notes. If you have something to add, if you would like to share this, then by all means, subscribe, share, make a comment in the statement, suggest some other um, videos for me, and add to our list of banknotes that contain the sublime and the silly hippopotamus. I am Benjamin. This has been Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.